Okay, so I'm here and I want to give a quick little demonstration about how to use our racket and just what I would give advice for people that wanted to get involved in two-handle tennis. Now, Ralph, a lot of people buy them as training devices just to use because the beauty of this racket is, is that if you don't rotate and use your core and turn sideways, the ball doesn't go in. So <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it really forces you to turn because of the two, you know, with a one handle, you can kind of like flap your wrist around and not turn or rotate and the ball can still go straight. But with this, you really have to get that, that which is what modern tennis is all about if you want to be a better com uh, competitor. So this is how we use it. You know, we just turn if the basic philosophy is that if the ball is super fast at your body and you need it to like if you already have a lot of pace coming at your body that's when we hit our two-handed shots and there's a you know a big advantage because we feel like you have a lot more lever leverage and stability if the ball slow that you're playing and you want to hit an, a, an aggressive um, shot we call it and you want to produce racket head speed that's the name of the game in most sports bat head speed golf you know in golf it's club head speed so if a ball is slow and we have to generate an aggressive shot we would use one hand you know or you can even use a one-handed backhand you know this is the back fist is said to you know be able to produce you know I think Stan Rolinka is in the finals of the French Open and I always say his his one-handed backhand may be the the deadly or the the uh, the best shot in, t in professional tennis in my opinion right now because he can hit a winner from anywhere but so you could hit a one-hander or you could hit a you know two forehands everyone says run around your backhand and hit forehands imagine if you had two forehands and especially with the inside out forehand that you get from our V this is the most popular design through the years the V it gives you sort of a natural inside out forehand so if you had two of those you really got the guy going this way that way so um, and then the reason that I switched to the racket would be this front handle shot. So we hit primarily back handle shots. This is a back handle, you know, two handed backhand or a left handed forehand and vice versa on the right side. But we also, um, when we're at the net, the same philosophy. If the ball's fast at our body, boom, two hands. You know, there's a lot of stability here. Almost every ATP pro now, including the Bryan brothers, when they're at the net, they're using a single handle racket and they have to hit a reflex volley. They always grab with the other hand and do it. So with ours, we're already there. And so um, it's the same. And then if you're, it's a slower volley and you need to create more stick, that's when we take a hand off. And then sometimes we even hit front handle volleys. So when you first get it, you learn this shot. This is called the flip. See how I'm, Lionel Burt, the inventor, used to tell me, make the head light. See how I'm going from back handle right now to front handle quickly. We serve like this, so we get this sort of leverage that you would get with a hockey stick. You know, the, um, I'm told that not one professional hockey player uses a straight stick. Ironically, in tennis, 99% of the people are using a straight stick, but we're giving you the option to create. So this, this whenever you serve or you hit a smash, you're pulling, you know, the front handle. Once after you flip, you quickly flip, and you, as you go forward, it sort of centripetally snaps itself. We call that the counterbalance as any double handle player will tell you after the initial seven days of getting used to the new contact or 10 days we start to love this counterbalance because it's a centripetal natural force almost i would equate it to the natural energy that you can get from say surfing on a wave you get this that's why we all do it there's some sort of feeling we get that when we play tennis we get this counterbalance and um, as a player before, I was the type of guy with a, a smash that, you know, if it was a little bit off, it was like foul shooting in basketball or something. It was a confident shot. If I made the first two overheads in a match, I would might make the next 30. But if, you know, it was a little windy and I didn't tell my wrist to snap at the right time, you know, because I didn't have that centripetal snap, then the ball would, you know, I might miss one and then I might miss 20. <laughs> it was a, it was a on or off shot. Now it's the, the double handle players almost don't even have to warm up their overheads because you know it's just such a natural shot that we show show up with. We just basically swing at the ball and the racket like a seesaw would um, centripetally goes over and creates a lot of leverage and does the smashing for you. 
It's that way on the serve. We love that pull down effect. We feel like we get a little more kick. We get a little more angle on everything we do whenever we hit a wide slice serve. 